so far we've seen right now. Stay can give Shulk a hard time because Shulk loves to use those aerials, right? But yep. that grenade privilege can cause some problems because if you hit that shield, you're hitting the grenade as well and you're eating free damage. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and see how things go here. It is going to be Ben versus Mr. R. Uh, I guess I'm assuming, yeah, Ben won the Shulk diddle. So we'll see. So, sometimes, so, hey man, sometimes those can be pretty hard. You can be, a, you can be great with the character against others, but on Shulk diddles or on diddles in general, it can be pretty tough. Sometimes you have the matchups down, but not your own. We'll see how things go here. And like I said, right, uh, even Nico has commented on how like he's not a fan of the snake matchup in general, yeah. and that's because you have to hit, you have to hit snake with forward air from Shulk, um, at a with. Buster art at a specific time, making sure it's a strong hit so you can get him off the side. There's too much to think about mid match. It's yeah, really exactly. Hard. And here comes Mr. R playing a little more defensive. It's really strange seeing him play defense because I'm so used to seeing his very aggressive young link play mm -hmm. or that prom play. But Shield Monado able to get Ben off a 112%. Needs to be really careful. C4 used once more. A lot of snakes in this bracket, I just realized. Yeah. There's Kinda not surprised. Pretty popular character and very strong in the meta, in my opinion. You guys can blame me for it. I think I believe Snake is a top five character, but hey, man. <laughs> no, I think I, I definitely. This is his grenade privilege, the kill setups, the tech chase, and the up tilt. Like I said before, you mentioned it earlier too. Uh, uh, oh. One of those things that Snake kind of has over Shulk is like the ability to kind of stop him from going for those aerials too. And that up tilt was definitely a great call out from Mr. R against Ben. And remember that short hop down there is also going to cause some problems for Ben as well. And as well as member Snake has those setups with the one hit of Nair. Mm -hmm and to those grab setups, but definitely got to be careful And Mr. R. This is Mr. This is the Mr. R as well, so he's got to be pretty careful. Monado yards, he used once more. Mr. R, great b reverse to get away from that situation. Nice, using that using that backslash to go ahead and auto snap the ledge that way, and Ooh. still having a hitbox out there on the way. He might have hit him if that was an up air. Yeah. Yeah, he might have hit him. That would look really nice when Mr. R gets grabbed up. And he's going to go in and recover high once more. He's trying to catch out the recovery, but oh, the C4 no. catches out for a little more damage. And here comes the parry as well. Mr. Yeah. R. Oh. We're just kind of waiting, aren't we? Yeah, and at this point, it's pretty good from Ben to kind of pace himself a little bit. And unfortunately, activating Smash without using uh, dial storage will kind of cause that animation to happen, and he'll lose the stock that way. And He's going to smash again, so he could probably get a kill that way. But unfortunately, the one thing that we are seeing from Mr. R is this kind of setup that he's having against He Shulk. stuck him. He's back on top of him again. If he lands a grab, he could potentially take the kill, especially if you jump Monado. Watch that C4. It's right on Snake. Yeah. He, if anything, Mr. R is going to use that C4 as a last-ditch effort when he's down in the, low, the lower side of the stage to try to make a recovery in tech. Yeah. That would have been cool, though. Mm -hmm. You got to just set up with that one. But... Unable to find anything off of that one. Mr. R playing a little bit safe, and that back air from Snake is ridiculously such a good move because how long it stays for. Yep. And just when you think you forgot about it, man, <laughs> Mr. R with the sneaky C4, letting Ben know, man, you've got to watch out where I put him. Mr. R will help remind you, though, that C4 is back there. Yeah. He's able to get so much damage off, so, so, such a good thing. Mr. R was pretty good. Game one. Right in the back. So, on number two, we got Kalos. And remember, according to the 2GG rules, this is the only counter pick. Yep. So, if we get to we, we did have a bit of a stage change. As in terms of rules, so we did we did have Ingrisil for a minute, and then we changed back to not having it. We did not bring back Yoshi's uh, Yoshi's Island, actually. A lot. It's a, it's been a topic of controversy yeah. at that stage, but it is what it is. You gotta get used to it. You know, you can complain about it, sure, but if you want to win, yeah, you gotta be careful. Yeah. yeah, you gotta definitely practice on all those on the stages. And all right, up till unfortunately at one thirty-seven percent, then Ben will lose that stock. It, it really do be like that sometimes. That's all I can really say. Yep. Oh, he's trying to go for that empty hop, and he can go for that neutral air. And switching off to the shield makes things mm -hmm. unsafe on hit. And also, uh, quick question, since uh, we're going to be casting a little bit of a match right here. Did Anti show up? I don't know. I'll, I will definitely go ahead and check the bracket, man. I wouldn't be surprised if he did. I would Actually, I'd be surprised if he did. I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't. But hey, man, sometimes 
pick your battles and you sign up and you just can't make it or you don't feel like going. It's all good. And we'll see who makes it out here because the one who's winning here is Mr. R with the C4. Ben at 170%. I feel like he's really struggled against the matchup. And honestly, look at this. Oh, he's stuck up. No, he stuck the C4. Mm -hmm. the I can't confirm to you that Anti did get DQ. Ah, unlucky. Down air, nice. I like that he tried to follow up with Ooh. a grab, but he read the roll, get up, and strikes back with the forward smash. I uh, I wanted to see Ben. I like that forward tilt attempt, especially with Smash R, because it's a great opportunity for him to have that spacing. But I also would have loved to him see him kind of space it just a little bit better to either get the up tilt, the forward air, or that forward tilt as well. Because you want to make sure you can cover all the five options you can get from the ledge. Uh, you can see MVD like analyzing Mr. R snake to see maybe he can learn something or two. But right now it's a little bit of a struggle. I, I, what I also am surprised to see, remember we talked earlier how Shulks really want to pressure people with that, sh with that, with those aerials? Mm -hmm. We're seeing none of that. Yeah. Trying to use that back air. I like the opportunity into Smash R. He's, he might be actually able to get something with switching right back to Buster Art. And down there had to show oh, so many Monado Arts just being switched left mm -hmm. and right. Oh my god. And also, Mr. R's great projectile use is throwing out nades. More nades than Thunder Gaming can buy people. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's so many coming in, and the C4 gonna take it as well. <laughs> I, the one, the one thing, the one thing to take away here for Mr. R is the way that he consistently had a lot of projectiles out. Right, like you said it yourself, he's hiding a lot of grenades out in play. But it's honestly a sneaky play to cover out all the C4 that he was looking to stick onto the ground in that corner. That's that.